So when exactly did construction on the temple begin? The groundbreaking took place on the 14th of February in 1853. It was a simple ceremony presided over by Brigham Young. Almost immediately after, President Young appointed me to superintend the excavation of the temple foundation. Beg your pardon, Brother Woodruff. Yes. The gentleman said I should see you. What can I do for you, sir? I always told you were the superintendent in charge here. Every able-bodied man, Mr... Livingston. James Livingston. Just arrived. Scotland, Lanarkshire. Can you drive a team, Brother Livingston? Just as good as the next man. What was your employ in Scotland? Stonecutter, sir. Just as good as the next man. Much better, sir. I am afraid I have no use for you here, Brother Livingston. I'm sorry. But I need you to pack your belongings, however. We can use you up the canyon to quarry stone for the temple. We've only got six more weeks before we lay the cornerstones. Can you make it? Only in God's country, sir. Brethren and sisters, we are assembled this day on one of the most joyful and glorious occasions ever to transpire among the children of man. For today, we are to dedicate the cornerstones of this temple to the Most High God of Israel. I venture to say that the sacrifices to which we commit this day and the work that we perform here will long be remembered by this people and be sounded as with a trumpet's voice throughout the world, as far, as loud, and as long as the wind can carry it. I seldom ever say much about revelations or visions, but suffice it to say that five years ago last July, I stood on this hallowed ground and saw in the spirit the temple, not 10 feet from where we lay this chief cornerstone. And I have never looked upon this ground since. But the vision of it was there. Brethren and sisters, I pray that our Father in heaven will encircle you all in the arms of its love and mercy. And protect us all while we finish this temple, receive the fullness of our endowments therein, and build many more.
superintendent? Oh, yeah, that's right. My name's Michael Hawks. I'm your new apprentice. James Livingston. Who appointed you my apprentice? I brought you a sack full of slips and wedges and a newly sharpened drill fresh from the blacksmith's. Why, well, you're barely 12 years old. 13. Still too young to be an apprentice. Who sent you to me? I overheard at the blacksmith that you were up working alone. All quarrying my work in teams. I managed just fine. My thanks for bearing up the tools. They were sorely needed. The work is faster with two. Run along now, lad. I've work to do. Not hear me, lad. Off with you now. This is dangerous work. No place for a boy. Sharp brothers, John, Adam, and Joseph, were contracted to haul the rock from the quarry to the temple block. A four-day trip for a single wagon load. Look, Adam, can you cut it? Okay, Sam, can you help him there? There you go, Adam. That's okay, I'm getting under there. Sam, can, watch him there on that corner over there. Oh. 